Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. As promised, a little bit late, but I'm here to do the q and I asked you guys a couple weeks ago to submit your questions. They didn't have to be vape related and I wanted to do a fun, different type of video on this channel since I am not vaping currently. And I would like to thank Twist E-Liquid for sponsoring this video. They have sent me, as you can see over the years, several e-liquid flavors to try out here on the channel. They did send me a shirt to wear for the video, but that's the back of the shirt anyway and it's just an all black shirt with twist right here on the boob and I just it's like it's not girly and so I figured you wouldn't even be able to see like the coolness of the shirt if it was on my back anyway so I just laid it out here for you guys to see and again thank you twist e-liquid for sponsoring today's Q&A so I will just jump right into it with the first question being what's in your go-to makeup bag and I'm actually excited to answer this question because I have started using new makeup I'm no longer shopping at Ulta or Sephora while they are great quality Quality are really expensive and I just decided to peruse Target and see what Target had to offer. So I'm using this new eyebrow dual pencil. It's like a wax on one side and the other side you untwist it and it's an eyebrow gel. I'll leave like a little insert picture of it and I really like it so far and I'm also using liquid eyeliner and it's all right. I've only used it a couple times. I don't really have like a super good opinion on it yet but so far so good and no need to spend $30 on a liquid eyeliner. I think this eyeliner was $6 dollars next question sis are you okay how's life been for you sis and as a fan can i ask to give me some advice for hookahs because i'm totally brand new to this xoxoxoxo roman i'm sorry i don't really have any advice on hookahs whether that be a real hookah or an e-hookah i never really use those myself during my vaping journey so i'm so sorry to disappoint you in that part of your question but i am doing really good life is really good right now so thank you so much for asking next question how's your son doing last i remember he was going through some things i hope he's better now thank you so much he is doing incredible he's actually going to be three years old next saturday on the 24th of july Can't believe it's already been three years. Yes, he did go through a lot in the beginning of his life. Four open heart surgeries, five closed heart procedures, two extended sternal closures, and one emergency abdominal surgery all before he turned five months old. So yes, his start was rough. We actually haven't had any huge admissions except for a few tachycardic episodes in the beginning of the year, end of last year, which hasn't seemed to bother him since. So that's good. Hoping all is well. Next summer, he will be having his fifth open heart surgery though. So Fingers crossed that all goes good. Prayers and positive vibes. Thank you so much for asking about my son. <laughs> this next question. Can we be together forever? I'm happily married. Almost 10 years. This November will be 10 years. Five years married, 10 years together. But thanks anyway. Next question. Personally, I am just happy to see that smile. Give the little man a hug from all of us YouTubers. LOL. God bless. Oh, thank you so much. And I will give him a hug. He is napping right now. And oh, I forgot to mention I am in my guest bedroom right now because my cat had kittens like three weeks ago in my office where I usually sit and film videos. But uh, her litter box, even though it gets cleaned every other day by my wonderful husband, I uh, cannot stomach the smell of it. Even just the smell of even just litter can't, I can't do it right now. <laughs> Next question. How are you and the hubby? How is little man? How is your mom and dad? Look, kind of already answered this. Hubby and I are doing great. We are going to hit our five year wedding anniversary in September. And Lucas, as I said already, is doing very well. He couldn't be doing any better. Even his team and his cardiologist are really impressed with how healthy he is, how active he is, and how smart he is. He is going to be three, like I mentioned, and he knows his whole alphabet, A, B, C through Z. And he knows numbers one through 20. He knows all of his colors like all the colors of the rainbow plus black brown and white gray pink um and he also knows like nine different shapes so i'm very proud of him he's really pretty smart my mom is doing good actually on the day that i'm filming this video july 18th it is her birthday she just turned 49 so we went and had lunch with her today and i brought her a little cake and candles my dad is also doing well they're obviously not together. They are both separately married, but he's doing really well with my stepmom and my brothers. They are just living life. My dad's brother actually got a farm in the recent years, and so my dad does a lot of work up at the farm with my uncle. Next question. How do you deal with stress? Do you have any stress relieving tips? Well, <laughs> 
I don't think I deal with stress very well. I think a lot of people have like their own vices with stress. Mine used to be alcohol. I would just drink a glass to a bottle of wine if I was having a super stressful day. I don't do that anymore. It's been several years since I've done that. I think when I'm stressed, I do like bubble baths. My husband will be like, he'll come home and I'll be like, can I take a bubble bath? Like you got the kid. I'm gonna go relax and watch a show. I'm currently watching Call the Midwife, which is based in East End London in 1950s and it's super emotional. It's all about midwifery and childbirth back then and I really like it and so that's like I think my number one go-to is a bubble bath with a show for like an hour just chill by myself and relax. The main way I de-stress is to have a little bit of me time. Next comment uh, just saying hello hello Jeff. Next comment in your opinion which flavor is the most difficult to replicate in a vape and who did it most successfully? Is it peach orange question mark? So in my opinion I think that the most hardest flavors to replicate would be cold flavors like ice cream or milkshake things that needed to have a cold aspect without overpowering like the menthol or culotta whatever they're going to use in the flavor next question do you have an only fans absolutely not <laughs> next question hello tia nice to see you on youtube again i have two questions first how are you dealing with the heat you're getting up there. We do go to the water a lot, whether it's a pool or the riverside, because we have tons of rivers and creeks where we live, or our pond. We also have a park and a pond where we live, and so like a playground. We go to the pond, we spend a lot of time at the water. Second, what is Doug's new job? He got a couple months ago, and has he been enjoying it? Thank you and take care. Hashtag Lucas the Lionheart. Yes, so Doug did get that job, and he just, he's still a mechanic, a car, an auto mechanic. He just got to switch to a different shop that was offering him more money, like I think three more dollars to start at than what his job, the shop he was at, um, that he'd been at for a few years and they weren't giving raises last year or this year and they also didn't do Christmas bonuses so that was kind of a bummer and the fact that they weren't going to give him a, a raise when it had been like a thing to you know get a raise every year so that was a bummer and then when he got this offer to do the same thing at a different shop for three more dollars an hour starting wage, we were like, heck yeah. I'm really glad that he got, he got that job and he is enjoying it. It's actually a little bit easier too because the shop he was at was small engines like um, tractors and snowmobiles and snowblowers and lawnmowers, things like that. So it was kind of a newer realm for him, but he'd been there for a couple years by the time he left, you know, getting into the swing of things. But then he went to a shop for auto mechanics, which he has done for countless years beforehand. So it's, it's in a sense easier because it's auto, which he knows like the back of his hand. Next question. Long time no see. LOL. Just how have you been? What have you been up to? How's Lucas and Doug? Hope all is great with you and your family. Well, thank you so much. All is well with us right now. Lucas is doing great. I'm just living life. I'm just raising my kid to the best of my ability and giving him all of the opportunities and experiences and memories. Literally most of my week consists of going to play dates for him or taking him to the water with his friends. Like doing things for my toddler. I actually very rarely do I I do anything for myself, which makes me think that I, I should get a girls night soon. Me and my friends need to have a girls night where we just sit, hang out and BS, maybe go out to dinner. I don't know. I think I need a girls night. It's been, wow. When was the last time? I don't even know when the last time that I got out without my child or husband because Doug and I do go on date nights here and there. But as far as like a girls night, I don't think I've had one in a long time. I think I deserve one. <laughs> Next comment, you're the vape queen. Oh, well, thank you. Not so much anymore, but thank you. <laughs> OnlyFans link. Yep, sure, that comment again, I'll leave a link in the description below. Next comment, no question, especially since we're all wondering how your son is doing. I'm just here to say I have a huge crush on you. Oh, okay, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I, I did already answer like how Lucas has been doing and how we've been doing, but thank you. Next question, what's a goal you would want to achieve with the channel? I love seeing the vape reviews come back. You were my go-to for all the gadgets and devices and juices. Well, thank you. Uh, the goal for this channel, I guess, is just to keep it from completely dying, but I'm not vaping right now, so I won't be doing any vape videos here in the near or distant future. So, or if I do vape videos, it might be me with someone else doing the vaping for me. <laughs> so. If you would want to see that, I can I can do those kind of videos. Um, but stick around because I'll I'll still upload to this channel. I just I just don't know when. It I mean it's very time consuming to be a mother and like 
raising your own kid and homeschooling and so yeah I just don't have a lot of time for myself anymore not complaining but it's just the honest truth next question have I already missed the tour of the new house well um I never gave a tour. We moved in after we got home from Seattle Children's Hospital in 2019. We had been struggling to conceive and decided that instead of putting all of our energy and trying to have a kid, we would just go ahead and build a new house because we were just living in a mobile and we built the house, like we started the house plans and then got pregnant and then found out that our son was going to need open heart surgery and still went ahead with building the house because we didn't have a house to live in after we had the baby and all the surgeries. So it was just kind of like a whirlwind of a year. 2018 was a year, but we've been moved in, as you can see, for two years now, a little over two years, and I love this house. We do live in a really expensive area of Washington State, so I don't know. We might sell our house and move into something a little bit smaller. At the time, the house was doable. We both had better jobs, better income. Income. I do love the house, but I have to think of, you know, what's best for our family and not having to live on such a tight budget. Next question. Fave artist, band, whatever. Also, watching your vids makes my day. Oh, thank you. So, okay, band is a fallout boy and it always, always will be. I'm actually going on tour right now, I think, with Green Day and Weezer, but when I looked into it, the tickets were like so freaking expensive. There's no way I could justify buying myself a ticket, which was a bummer because I've literally gone to every single Fall Out Boy tour that they've had. I've gone to a show, whether it was in Seattle or Spokane, I've always gone and my husband proposed to me at a Fall Out Boy concert, like right in the middle of a song. And I, I love Fall Out Boy. I've loved them since I was like a fifth or sixth grader and I am 29. I just had my birthday a couple days ago. And so, uh, yeah, I'm kind of bummed that I, that I can't go. I mean, I could, but I can't justify spending the money right now. So <laughs> yeah, but I, I will always, always love follow boy the most. Someone says, hello, have you got a boyfriend? No, I don't have a boyfriend. I have a husband. And the last comment says, well, aren't you lovely? Oh, thank you, Van Vaughn. Thank you. That's very nice. Very nice way to, to end the Q&A. And thanks again to Twist E-Liquid for sponsoring today's video. I really enjoyed their juice when I was vaping it. It's super yummy, super flavorful. If you guys want to see more videos like this that aren't necessarily vape related, let me know and I would be happy to find the time when I have the time to do other types of videos. I had some videos recorded for my other channel, which I'll leave a link below. It's my life channel at home with Tia. I haven't been uploading there either. But if you want to see more videos let me know in the comments below give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one bye